When you think about severe weather, tornadoes may come to mind first, but a microburst or straight line winds are more common and can cause damage over a bigger area. To understand how a microburst forms, let's go to the pool. I know it seems random, but bear with me. When you get out of the water on a hot summer day, your skin starts to feel cool. But why? As water goes from a liquid to a gas, it requires heat. You then experience that heat loss through a process called evaporational cooling. Well, that same thing is happening to water inside the cloud of a thunderstorm, extending thousands of feet up in the air. As water droplets evaporate, the air inside the cloud cools. And as you know, hot air rises. So that means cold air sinks. And with this process occurring quickly and on such a grand scale, it sinks really fast, hitting the ground and spreading out in all directions. This can cause down trees, power lines, and in extreme cases, winds up to 150 miles per hour. A microburst is a downdraft that's less than two and a half miles in scale. A macroburst is even larger. On May 15, 2018, a three mile wide macroburst hit Brookfield. If damage is caused by a microburst, you'll often see big uprooted trees knocked over in the same direction. Conversely, if it's tornado damage, it's gonna be more chaotic with big uprooted trees overlapping instead of being knocked down the same way.